Hello everyone, Miss Doyle here. Good afternoon. I hope you are all having a great day. I am back to teach our craft that goes along with our lesson today. And today's lesson, if you don't know already, is on butterflies. So we are going to make a butterfly craft together. And I'm going to explain that there's a lot of different options that you can use with this. However, I'm going to be just doing one of the options and then I'll explain the ways that you can do it if you don't have those materials. So the way I'm going to do my butterfly is I'm going to need some markers, a coffee filter, a clothespin, and some water. If you don't have a coffee filter, you are able to use some tissue paper, you can use tool, anything that can help kind of resemble some wings of that butterfly. And then um, if you don't have a clothespin, you can use a pipe cleaner or just like a twist tie. And then lastly, I'm not going to decorate the center of my butterfly, but you are more than welcome to. So to decorate the center of this, you could use googly eyes or pom-poms, glitter, sequins. Um, you could just color it in. Anything that you would like to do to help decorate the center of your butterfly because we're mainly going to work on the wings today and then just cl clasping it in the center. Alright, let's head over and we'll learn how to make our coffee filter butterflies. So again, there's only a few base materials that we need for today's craft. I'm going to be using markers, water, a coffee filter, and a clothespin. But you have lots of options with this if you don't have a coffee filter. Again, you could use tissue paper or tool, anything to resemble those wings. And then if you don't have a clothespin for the center of your butterfly, you can use a pipe cleaner or a twist tie, um, string, really whatever you have available at your homes to use. Okay, so for the first part of our craft, we are going to color in our coffee filter. There is no specific design that you need to do on this, um, but I'm just going to start in the center and work my way out, making whatever shapes and colors and designs that I would like. I'm gonna start and I'll let you see me the beginning of me coloring it in, then I'll stop and I'll show you again when I'm finished coloring, because it might take a little while. All right, so I'm going to start with some purple in the center here. And I'm just going to do all different types of shapes. So I started with some triangles in the center here. And I, you can switch colors as many times as you would like. The more colors, the better it will be for this. And then I did some diamonds next. Okay, so again, I'm just making all different types of designs on my paper here. It does not even have to be shapes or um, different types of lines. It can be complete scribbles. That is totally fine for what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to keep coloring in, and then I'll check back in once my coffee filters fill. Okay, so here is the finished product of my colored in filter. Again, I have all different shapes and lines and polka dots. Um, but however you did it is completely fine. The next step in our butterfly is we're going to lay this down i have it on a paper towel just to protect the surface that i'm on but you can just do it on a table if that's okay with you and then we are going to take our water bottle and we're going to shake some water onto the coffee filter okay so here we go with this piece i'm going to begin shaking and i'm going to try not to get too much less is kind of better with this so I don't want to drench it. I just want to make sure that the colors can start to blend. And then once it's pretty much all wet, I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes until it gets dry enough for us to use. Okay, so my filter is dry now. It's not wet anymore. 
uh, pro tip, if you are trying to dry the filter fast, you can use a hair dryer that really quickly just gets the wetness out of it and make, brings it back toward um, like kind of its normal c consistency here. So what we're going to do next is we are going to put a little bit of fold into the coffee filter. So I'm just going to start at the bottom and I basically just fold alternate ways. So I bring half of it up and then I'm going to press down, I'm going to come up again and press down, come up again and press down. So I'm just keeping the folds as I work my way up the entire um, coffee filter. So now it's just one piece of folded material and then I'm going to open it back up. After we've opened it back up, I'm just going to take the center of the folds that I just made and this is where we're going to clip our clothespin in. So we're going to come in with the clothespin and it's actually going to almost flatten it out the opposite direction, but we're here now. So I'm going to come in with my clothespin to scrunch this area down. So it would look like this, but I'm going to even it out. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. That should be good. And then we're going to take our outsides. If you can see this one's smushed right now and this one's a little bit open. But we're just going to open them up nice and wide to help make the wings of our butterfly. Now you'll notice it's a little bit tight to the one side. So you can just unpinch and adjust wherever you need to give yourself some more coffee filter. You're gonna make the wings nice and big so our butterfly starts to look like this. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be done with my butterfly, but you can continue. Just off of the materials that I have here at home, I don't have too much more that I can do to the center of my butterfly. But like I said, you can decorate this by coloring it in with markers or colored pencils, crayons. You can put cotton balls and googly eyes, glitter, sequins, anything you want to help spice up the center of our butterfly here. But in the end, we have made our coffee filter background and then he or she is ready to fly. Um, again, if you didn't have the clothespin, you could use a pipe cleaner, just twisting it around and then you'd have antennas coming up or you can use a twist tie and then um, cover up the center some other type of way. And if you didn't have the coffee filter to make this these nice bright wings, just try using tissue paper in different colors or um, any tool that you have. You, you really do have a lot of options with this butterfly here. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's craft and our lesson on butterflies. We will be back again in a couple of days with a new lesson on ladybugs and a craft that goes along with it. Have a nice day.